Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I am going to be doing another lipstick lip swatch and review video. And today we are going to be talking about a newer brand to my collection. It's definitely a brand that I haven't talked about on my channel before. And we are going to be talking about Besame Cosmetics. I can thank my new appreciation for Besame to Miss Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube. You guys know I absolutely adore her, and she has really been hyping up this brand. She's been doing a lot of solo reviews on this brand and one of her most recent lip swatch and Besame haul videos really got me interested in placing an order. So I did end up placing an order. I got a whole bunch of their lipsticks. So I figured today I will go ahead and do a lip swatch video and just let you guys know what I think of the formula. I feel like when you're a true makeup lover, the story behind the brand is just as important as the product itself. So Besame has an interesting thing that they try to do in that they try to replicate vintage lipstick colors that were actually worn in different eras or different decades of time. For example, one of the lipstick colors I'm going to show you guys shortly is called Carmine and it's this really, really gorgeous like orangey red shade. But the actual unit carton that this came in or the little box right here on the side, there's a little label here that says this shade is a true replica of a color from 1931. So the owner of Besame Cosmetics actually tracked down a lipstick color from 1931 and then replicated its shade and formula and released it in her own line. And I think that's really, really interesting. All of the different Besame classic lipstick colors are all from different periods of time. Now, as far as the packaging on these lipsticks goes, it does come in a metallic gold bullet with red kind of etching on it. It does say Besame right here on the inside of the lipstick. There is a really interesting shade shape that this lipstick comes to. You can see that it has two flat sides and it almost comes to kind of a point at the top, which is really unique. I will say I thought it was going to be a little bit easier to use this shape than it actually is. I would definitely recommend using a lip brush or something to help apply this. And I don't just say that because of the shape of the actual lipstick, but I also say that because the lipstick itself, these formulas, are so pigmented that a lip brush is definitely going to help with precise application. Each of these lipsticks retails for $22 a piece, so these are pricey for a traditional lipstick, but I do think the quality of these is really, really nice. I will talk more about the formula and the texture and the longevity towards the end of the video, but right now I just want to go ahead and jump right into lip swatches. I own eight of the colors in the Besame lipstick range, but I don't own all of them. I believe there's about 12 to 14 shades in the line currently, but Besame does release new shades periodically. But either way, let's go ahead and jump into lip swatches of all eight of the shades that I own. First up, we have Dusty Rose, and this is the one and only neutrally type shade that Besame has in their line, and this is a gorgeous, super wearable, neutral brown with a strong pink undertone, but it is like a mid-tone brown, so it's still wearable for someone that has a tan skin tone. Carmine is a gorgeous orange color. It's not a neon orange. It's kind of a subdued reddish orange, but it still is very orange. So if you like orange lipstick, you will most definitely love this one. Wild Orchid might be my favorite color out of all of the ones I have because it's the closest to a berry pink shade. And this one does have a very, very slight amount of like a sheen to it. It's not glittery. It's not metallic. It just has a little bit of something. Thing. It gives it a little bit of dimension and I really love it. Now we're just getting into the flurry of reds. So this one is Cherry Red, which is a really pretty, true, neutral, slightly pink toned cherry red. I could see this particular red shade looking beautiful on every single skin tone. It's a super wearable red. Red Velvet is kind of a fun take on a red. It's a muted brick toned red with a little bit of warmth, almost like an orangey undertone to it, but it's really, really muted. So it's not bright. It's not like a fire engine red. It's 
gorgeous. I apologize that my swatches are getting a little out of hand. All of these red colors are really just staining the outside of my lips. But anyways, next up we have Blood Red, which is pretty much just that. It looks like dried blood on your lips, which is such a sexy look in my opinion. Like genuinely, I'm not being sarcastic. I think this is a very, very sexy red color. Slightly muted again, so still very wearable for all skin tones. Merlot is another muted brick red color. I would say this is really similar to Blood Red. It might have just a little bit more brown in it and it might be just a tinge darker but you probably don't need both of them. They both have a very similar finish and a very similar formula. They're both amazing. They're just really, really similar. And then the final shade that I have is called Noir Red. Now this one I believe is the darkest shade that Besame makes. It is a pretty vampy red plum color. Absolutely love this color. Anything that has sort of a purple tone to it in a lip product, I am all over it. But this one is not too purple. It definitely has enough red in it to make it more of a vampy, wearable lipstick. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was. Now let me go ahead and talk about the color range of the Besame lipstick line really quick. As you guys could probably tell, there are a lot of red colors in this line. Even shades that aren't truly red do have kind of a brick reddish undertone to them. I do understand why Besame does that because they are genuinely replicating colors from back in the day and red colors are just the colors that were the most popular and the most available. So I do understand why their line is very heavily geared towards reds. Obviously, if you're not a red lipstick lover, you're gonna be pretty limited when it comes to color choices in this brand. Now let's go ahead and discuss the formula of these lipsticks. So these lipsticks, as I stated, are super, super pigmented. They are, for the most part, really creamy. I would say they're more of a satin finish. Some of the shades do lean a little bit more matte. They don't have quite as much gloss to them. None of the shades in the range that I've tried, at least, are completely shiny or super glossy. I would say they're pretty much a classic satin cream lipstick finish. The way Besame recommends that you apply these lipsticks is in two layers. They recommend that you apply one thin layer to your lips and then take a tissue and kind of blot it off and then go in with a second layer and then also blot if you're looking for a matte appearance. Applying that first layer and then blotting really kind of locks in the pigment and locks in the color to your lips. And then when you go in with that second layer, once again, it just gives the vibrancy of the actual shade. It's gorgeous and I have found these lipsticks last so well. If you do that, you know, blotting step and apply it in layers, I have found that they barely transfer. They do not bleed. They're really, really comfortable on the lips and they can last a full eight to 10 hours on my lips. Now keep in mind, these are a traditional lipstick. So of course, you know, if you're eating and drinking, they are going to fade away a little bit on the inner portion. And of course, if you, you know, take a sip out of a glass or something, you will have a little bit of product transfer. I'm incredibly impressed by these lipsticks. I really, really love them. I'm so happy with all eight of the ones I have, and I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for more. In case you guys are wondering, they do have a slight vanilla scent. I wouldn't say it's as strong as like a MAC lipstick, but it is there. You're gonna be surprised by how small and dinky this packaging is. I mean, it is still metal, so it feels nice, and you know, it doesn't feel cheapy, but it is super, super small. But you do get 3.5 grams of product in these, which means you're getting, you know, a full size lipstick amount of product. It's just the packaging itself is just really small and cute. Makes it easy to throw into a clutch, so I'm not really complaining on that. But that is pretty much all I have to say on the Besame Classic Color Lipsticks. Overall, I really, really love them. I understand why the color range is limited, but I would love to see them come out with a more expanded color range just because I really love the formula. I honestly think that for the next one, while if I'm ever gonna reach for a red lipstick, it's probably gonna be a Besame lipstick if it's not my lipstick from Ronnie Cosmetics, but you know, I love that lipstick too, but these Besame ones are 
amazing. So there we have it. That wraps up my Besame Cosmetics lipstick swatch and review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of this brand in the comments down below. And if you guys own Besame Cosmetics for yourself, let me know what shades you own. In case you guys haven't seen my most recent upload, I will link it up here for you guys. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? There's a subscribe link down there. I'll also put a couple other videos over here that I think you guys might be interested in. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I will see you then. Bye.